If I call you and you don't fucking pick up this phone, uso sona in pelo yaku. Sas one. I understand why you're saying this, Tom. No, 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 no. I, don't, I don't care if you. I don't care if you understand or don't understand. You are doing your own things, and I told you, you don't do things in this house. Do you understand that? You don't miss my man and Andipo. The fact that you were upset and you blocked my number. That was the time in your life. My number. If you ever block my number, you will find you and your clothes on the fucking streets. You will never block me. I run this house. I suffer for this house. You will not block me. Do you hear me? I block me this time. I will drive to Johannesburg and I'll take your ass and I'll show you what I'm capable of. And if I ever fucking call this phone and you don't pick up, I don't want you to make me frustrated. I don't want you to make me angry. A long time. You go and do your own thing. Do you think I am stupid? Do you not think that I have a tracker on you? Do you not think I have people fucking following your fucking ass? Huh? Don't you think what I'm looking after your fucking safety? You think I don't know what you're doing? I don't understand what you're doing. So let me advise you for the last time. If I come to Joburg and you don't have your fucking affairs in order, you will regret it with your life. Do you hear me? Did you hear me? Did you hear me? I hear you. I will kill you and him. Do you hear me? I will fucking murder both of you. Who's him? No, me la la. La la la. Don't fucking raise me. Don't don't upset me. Yesterday you created a story. Now on the weekend, one two girl and nine. Hey, tell me something. Unfortunately, I'm politically connected. It means that whoever is close to me, they will be tracked by my people. You are in twenty fucking seven on surveillance. If you didn't fucking know, now you know. Every fucking move you make, when you drive to Natai's house, when you drive to Matt's house, how long you stay there, I know everything. So do not piss me off. You take me as a fucking stupid, simple man. I promise you on my life, you don't want to see the other side of me. I like you seeing the stupid me. Please don't want to see the other side. I'm begging you. Do not push my buttons. You are a wife in this house. You don't run shit. Do you hear me? You don't run shit. You, in this house, you are a wife. You submit to the rules of this fucking house and you will not block, you will not delete, you will not do shit in this house. If you have a problem, take your shit and fuck off. If I catch you again doing what you are doing these days, <laughs> don't think that two can play the game, two can die. That's what I can guarantee you. Two will fucking die. If I fucking call you again and you don't pick up this phone, Tell your fucking little dick man that I'll put that dick in your mouth at off. Do you hear what the fuck I said? Did you hear me? Unzuile. Did you hear me? I heard you. Am I loud I and clear? La, 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 la. I will burn you with that fucking house in High Park and your man. I'll go fetch him and I'll put him in that house and I'll burn the fucking two of you. All I ask, if you want to leave, take your shit and fuck off. I'm not holding you against your will. I'm not forcing you to be anywhere, but do not play with me. Do not play with my time. Okay? I can tell you this, Nandipa. I know what, exactly what you're wearing. I know exactly where you are. All the fucking time. Even when you block me. Even when you switch off your phone. You understand that? I know every fucking thing. Do you know why? Do you know why? Do you know why? No, I don't. Can I tell you? Because I can't trust you. From the day I was in jail, I couldn't trust you. Do you think I'm going to trust you today that you think I'm cheating? Do you think I'm going to feel comfortable? Since you think I'm cheating, I'm going to feel comfortable that you are sleeping in my bed, that you're not talking to men, that you're not entertaining men. No fucking ways will I be comfortable. That I can guarantee you on my mother's fucking grave. So let me tell you, Siswam. I was gossip. Shit, not in my house only in this fucking country and i can guarantee you if you want to see your livers try me try me if i called you again and you don't pick up this phone and you fucking try and throw some stupid little fucking i uh, where's the money what, what, what i will fucking squeeze you so hard my sister you will regret the day you met me in your life and i am not joking so try me, try me, Zamilo Toyako.
you will see. I'll be in Hyde Park tomorrow. And I promise you, on my life, if your affair is not fixed, I will fix it myself. And I promise you, Nandi, I will kill you and that man. Do you hear me? There's no way, I don't care. I don't want you to answer me. I'm not looking for a response from you. One thing I need you to learn from today is that Tom speaks and you listen. This is my house. So you're going to listen to me. If I catch you doing what you did today and yesterday and last week, I'll break your face. And I don't break your I'll fucking break your face with a fucking slash hammer. Do you hear me? If you ever block my number, just know, at that time you blocked it, someone at High Park is moving all your clothes or burning them because I probably bought all of them. And somebody else is doing something to delete your Instagram page. And somebody else is tearing up Optimum when you block me. If I call you and you don't pick up your phone, you must know what's going to happen, Saswam. You must know that you must stay wherever the fuck you are if you don't pick up that call. You must know this line does not ring and you don't pick up. I don't give a fuck who you with. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? I heard you. Do not push me, Nandipa. You've accused me of a lot. You've thrown a lot of shit at me, right? And I've tolerated it. And I'm telling you right now. One thing I won't tolerate, I told you when I got out. I told you when I was in jail. If you cheat on me, I will kill you. I am not playing, Master. I'm Anglali. I am not playing. I'm not joking. You... You must understand this. If you believe I'm cheating with the whole world, that's your problem. But the bottom line is if I catch you, I will put your liver and that man's dick in your mouth cut off. Do you hear me? I'm not fucking playing with you. And I'm telling you now, if you ever block anything that has to do with me, I will fucking tear you apart. Personally, with my own bare fucking hands. Even if it means I go back to jail. Do you understand? Okay. Do not fucking forget yourself. Do not fucking forget yourself. You are a wife in this house. You wake up. You don't call me. You go to your fucking practice the whole day. You are online. You don't answer my fucking calls. You fucking go wherever you want. You don't answer the phone. You leave people. You walk into my... Can I tell you what you did? You went somewhere, walked out of there, got in the car and then answered my calls. I can tell you because I have fucking people watching you. You fucking stupid woman. You think I would leave you to walk the fucking street by yourself? Huh? You think I'd leave you to walk the streets? Huh? When I know there are people out there who want to probably cut the fucking head off. Are you fucking stupid? So let me tell you and your fucking little situation. I'm giving you the freedom to leave. Without hurting you, without fighting you, take your bags and leave. Block me. I will never call you. I will never bother you. You are free. But if you choose to stay in this house, if you open your legs, if you open your mouth to kiss another man, I will fucking rip the life out of you. Did you hear me? I will fucking strip your soul naked. Don't fuck with me. Let me tell you something, Nandipa. I wasn't in jail and nobody touched me because I was a pussy. That I can guarantee you. I was not a pussy. I'm a fucking man. And when it comes to getting to the grind, I will fucking show you a side of me that you don't want to see. So do not push me. I'm begging you. You know, one thing about me is that I'll give you a warning. I am giving you a fucking warning. I know every fucking message you send. I know every fucking WhatsApp you do. Let me tell you, I know I'm not the problem in your life. I know that you are the problem to yourself. So, Mamelalana, Mamelala, this house... If I catch you cheating, and if you continue with what you're doing, I'm going to call that guy, and I'm going to bring him with my boys, and I'm going to cut his dick off with a side cutter, and I'm going to put his dick in your mouth, and then I'm going to rip your eyes out. Do you fucking understand me? Umzwede, do you hear me? I hear you. If you want to try me, if you want to fucking try me, you don't make deals, you don't make any meetings, you don't make any fucking arrangements. I told you last time. You think you've got balls, Nandipa, because you can block me. You think you've got balls because you can block me and I keep quiet. You think you have balls because you can go and accuse me of something and I will react. 
Let me tell you something, Nandipa. There's a point that you get me at. And if you get me at that point very nicely, you will see a side of me. You would pray to God that you never met me. So let me tell you something. You get in this fucking car and you 